My name is Mark Abma, and I'm a professional skier slash restaurateur slash adventure. So now we're going to an organic fish farm called Totem. Grand, man. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, super nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, yeah. welcome to the hamlet of Egmont. Awesome, man. And it's to be here. We've got about 20 minutes of travel due west from here, and uh, we'll be at the farm. Sounds exciting, man. I began working for the aquarium. I did projects on uh, narwhals in the high Arctic and beluga whales. And one collecting trip, I came into this small bay. And I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. It was stunningly pretty. And it had a license to harvest oysters. So immediately, it could have an income. Um, as we do more fish farming than uh, oyster farming, we called it Totem Sea Farm. And so this is your house? Yeah. And then what's that house over there? Uh, that's a, a workshop. OK. Woodwork upstairs, dirty engines downstairs. Yeah. The barn, because when my kids were here, the girls each had a horse. And we had a dairy cow and pigs. Oh, yeah. and. We had, before we had the dairy cow, we had goats and stuff like that. Is this a little sauna right here? What yeah, the it? little floating sauna. No way. Yeah. Nice. So is there just enough space that the swallows have room to fly around here to eat them all up? Or is that yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, I mean, they're messy. It's funny too, because you see there's one sitting right on top of my exhaust tank oh, up yeah. there. They'll try and nest build in there. Oh, yeah. So you gotta fire the boat up every day and, and blow all the crap out of there that they put yeah, in. Yeah. She gets a little bit rambunctious. <laughs> It's a big dog. It is a big dog. So do you get bears around here? Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice. We get bears and cougars. Oh, yeah. Uh, bears, cougars, coons, mink, yeah. that sort of stuff, as far as the barnyard goes for okay. uh, troublemakers. But it's good to have a big dog and a little one, because I find the big dogs, although they got the voice, they're lazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jack Russell Terrier, on the other hand. Really? Hey? Yeah, man. <laughs> she hears something, wham, she's gone. And right of course, on. she'll follow because she doesn't want to miss out. Mm, yeah. It's a cool oh, she stuff. probably just saw a snake here. She's a bit wicked with the snakes. We have stuff all winter, you know, like the kale, and uh, there's these winter lettuces, and leeks, beets, carrots. Wow. They can stay in the ground all winter long. And so we get to uh, weed out of our garden year round. Amazing. I used to have a little barn over there. Yeah. And then uh, I, I wanted to move it. Tried to drag the old barn over and put it on this new barn site. And uh, I flipped it over backwards, trying to get it over a boulder. And oh, yeah. the hayloft was still full. And there were chickens on one side of it, and the cat in the loft. And the thing goes over. They're all flying out of oh, there. No. And when the barn hit the ground, it, it just like went into a dust pile. No way. So I had to rebuild. Yeah, this is paradise out here. Yeah. Yeah, this is ecotourism at its finest right here. But this little log house was, the, the, the log joinery work was done uh, by a guy in Sointula, which is a Finnish village on Malcolm Island, north of Vancouver Island. Okay. So then um, my son-in-law, Spence, he and I went up and took it, all, took it apart. Wow. And uh, we put little tags on each log, yeah, and brought right. it back down here, and then with, uh, my, mostly it was my sons, they built the road, and then it's on a big cement foundation. So you pour the, the interior on your own here? Yeah, yeah. There's only about 40 bottles down there, but <laughs> yeah, the whole thing, it's not only a stone, uh, concrete foundation, the whole thing is skinned in there as well. Oh, we got drainage yeah. around, so it stays, stays dry. A guy started to deliver propane on a barge into the oh, inlet, and he yeah. promised he was going to do it a long time. And they said, oh, I always, let's get an agar cooker. And I said, hey, we, we just built this place. We're not even <laughs> six <laughs> months in, and you want a, an agar cooker? You know, they cost as much as a, as a Harley Davidson, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, it takes a lot of effort to live out here, right? You get used to it. Oh, for sure, And then sure, you just yeah. think it's a walk in the park, <laughs> but it's surprising, you know, good for yeah. you to recognize it. Well, it's a little bit like the backcountry. Totally. You know, people live in the backcountry, they're comfortable back there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the weekenders come and they go, oh man, would I love to do this. Yeah. Little do they know they got to do their own power, totally. their own sewer, their yeah. own garbage, yeah. you know, <laughs> they're, go, they're, you know, bury the fear of the wild animals. Yeah, yeah, know? totally. So. It is, it's, it's great. I mean, I, I love to live here, yeah. but you know, you have to be everything 
You have to be a mechanic. You have oh, to yeah. be able to do electronics. You have yeah, to be able to. Yeah, there's that arresting moment out here, I'm sure. There's a few. <laughs>